And look at what seemed like an orchestrated move by some of these executives to come out and guide the market lower. Have they guided the market low enough, given what's in the price right now? I think it is. Um, we were all anticipating that the second quarter of 17, those results were going to be below second quarter of 2016, because as you recall, you had some very volatile markets with the Brexit vote at the end of June. But the market or the management teams did lower expectations further. And I think that's now priced in. Do you see the same thing, Tom, looking at the story with the banks at the moment? The enthusiasm was there, November coming into the year, then March we peaked and then we rolled over. Now these guys are coming out and saying, you're still too optimistic, this is where we're going. Um, I think yeah, I mean, I, I kind of feel like what it's telling us is um, 2017 growth is not that different than 2016. I mean, I think the feeling was after the election was that with deregulation and... Uh, optimism that growth would pick up. So I, I think in some ways this is not surprising. I think it's part of a broader sort of collective of slowing we've, we're seeing. Uh, Gerard, if you take a look at which bank is best, best positioned, right, because it's really hard. You have not enough vol to make money in your trading business, but yet uh, too much uncertainty for M&A to really go through. What bank is best positioned to sort of weather that struggle? Well, when you look at our universal banks, Bank America, J.P. Morgan, of course, the capital markets business contributes 25 to 30 percent of their revenues, unlike Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, where it's even greater. So if you're looking at a less volatile market going forward, traditional commercial banking businesses should do well. You saw the ADP number today, very strong. We get employment on Friday. So if those employment numbers continue to be strong, the consumer is under leveraged in this part of the economy. And therefore, the big banks are the big consumer lenders. We'd still stick with a JP Morgan and Bank of America and a Citigroup.